Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and this is my second, I guess, most recent video here. Uh, I've been away for a little bit, but um, here's some new videos to help you out with VRTK and Playmaker. Now, I found this is a very useful um, proxy that I've come up with, and I'm going to show you how this works. So what it basically does is when you point to something on the, you know, in your game using the uh, laser or the pointer, this will give you the ability to send Playmaker events um, when you hover over something or hover off of something or when you click onto something. So this will make more sense, I think, once I show you and then you can see how you can use it yourself. Again, I think this is uh, super helpful for everyone, so I wanted to decide to share with everyone. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, open up a scene, and I've just opened up one of the um, VRTK, this should be in your v VRTK project. Then in the legacy example files, just because they're a little bit easier to use, and I've opened up this um, controller simple pointer. So this just gives us a VRTK scene set up nice and easily for us, and we have a left and right controller, and they have pointers on them, and they have controller events. This is what we need, these two things, as well as the, of course, the straight pointer renderer to make it look straight. So if you've been using VRTK up until this point, this is probably nothing new to you. So what I'm going to do, though, is also create a new game object over here, and I'm just going to call this a uh, manager. You can call this whatever you want. And on the manager, I'm going to add a new script that I created, and you can download this from the comments below. And I'm actually going to change the name of it a little bit, but let's just add what we've got. So it's called Playmaker. Okay, so right now it's called Playmaker uh, Playmaker pointer controller. I'm probably going to change this to be like Playmaker pointer VRTK events. So just so you know, I'll add it in the comments what I decide to rename it because this is a little bit um, confusing. So what we can do is first off we're just going to uh, disable all the log events because we don't need them. And the next is we're going to have to throw the pointer in here that we want to use. So let's just grab the right controller and drag it in and let go. And if we want to use both the right and left controller to do this, we're going to need two of these Playmaker VRTK event proxy scripts. So we're just going to worry about the right controller for now. The next thing is we can put in, these are event names for Playmaker. So I'm going to make these in Playmaker. So we've got uh, enter, hover, exit, click. So you know, you can just use the default ones, they're, they're pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and just grab this cube and I'm going to move my mouse over here to the hierarchy and tap F to open it up and find it. Then I'm going to click on this capsule and we can see here the capsule. Next I'm going to add a Playmaker FSM on here so we can do something easily to this capsule. Now for this to work, make sure that this is a valid VRTK target, so usually this just needs a capsule collider to do that. You need something to be able to raycast into. Let's click edit and open up this FSM. And I've got it locked here so it doesn't change. So I can go back to my manager and see which names I have. So we'll go to events and add a couple of events based on these. So we've got enter, so I'm just going to use enter, exit, and click is enough for us. And let's create three states. So this will be my, my hover. You can call this my exit hover. And we'll call this my click. So these don't matter. You can call them whatever you want. This is just to help me remember you know, what's going on. Okay, the event names themselves do matter. These need to match exactly to this Playmaker uh, event VRT click proxy. So we'll add these here. Global transition, um, enter. Global transition, exit. And we'll add a global transition click. Okay, so what's really cool about this is that this VRTK uh, Playmaker event proxy here is going to send a message 
to anything it points at and try to send it to these events. So this is great because we don't need to set up every single item to be listening to these events. As you can see, there are no actions at all listening to these events. So let's try. So on uh, hover, so let's just use a set material color, my favorite lazy man demonstration here. So when we hover over something, maybe we want it to turn um, you know, white. And when we exit it, we want it to turn, um, let's copy over this FSM. Let's go copy selected action, paste action. So maybe we want it to turn um, black. And when we click something, we want it to turn red. OK, so now we have this set up here on this capsule. But we can set this up on more than one. So I'll just grab this FSM we made and go copy component. And why don't we go over to this green sphere. And we'll just go up to here. Any of these um, will work, these little gears. We're going to go paste component as new. And if we check this FSM, yep, it's the same. So now we have two different FSMs um, that are, are waiting for these events. And we, you know, we could change the colors on this one. Maybe this one's blue. And um, you know, purple. And when we click it, it's going to turn yellow. So there we go. So let's give this a try. Don't forget to file save and hit play. So there you go, you saw that the enter and exit are working. And you know we can set these up very quickly for different objects. What did not work though is this click. And this is because the click and the enter and exit, they sort of take over each other. So if we go over to the right controller and we open up the uh, pointer, I believe. And we use the pointer selection settings. So you can see both the activation of the pointer and the select are the same. So I'm going to change the select settings over to the uh, trigger. So let's say trigger click. And now let's give this another try and see if this works. Okay, so that works great. As you can see, if we just change the uh, select pointer selection here to trigger, we're able to trigger something. Now, for example, maybe this is a light bulb in the game. And we want to toggle this light off and on. We can do that. So let's just see, how can we do this? So let's, let's just forget the enter and exit all together here for now. We're just going to stick to using this click. And this capsule is our light bulb. It's in the air and we want it to be on and off. So we're going to change this color from blue to say, um, a, uh, let's say it's black because it's off to start. And and when we click it, we want it to toggle some kind of bool. So we're going to need two events for this. We're going to need a maybe an is on state and an is off, right? So let's add these transitions. Is on is off. We'll add two more states down here. So we'll call this turn on light. this one turn off light. So if the light is on, we want to turn it off. 
if the light is off, we want to turn it on. So let's create a bool for this. We'll call the bool light on. So let's set bool here. So turn light on, we're going to set the bool value of light on to be true. Once we come down to here, the light is on, so we're going to say, hey everyone, this light's on. So why don't we copy this over and paste it here, and when we turn off the lights, we want to say, hey everyone, the light is off. So when the light's on, we want to set the material color, of course, to be on. So we're going to change this to be a nice um, white yellow color or something. And let's copy this over. I'm going just control C on my PC, control V to paste. And when it's off, it's going to be black. So we don't need to bring this state back to anything because every time we click, it's just going to come in through this top event. So we don't need any waiting here. But what we need to do is just have a little bool test or a bool check. Let's see what we call it here. We'll call bool test on this initial state. What bool are we checking if the light's on? So if the light is on, we can say is on. If the light is off, it's off. And again, we don't need to do every frame because the event's going to be sent down. It's going to check one time and then do it. So let's give this another save. And this should uh, you know, give us the ability to toggle things on and off just by using our controller and pointing at it and then hitting the trigger. So let's push play and see. So I think this event proxy is super duper handy. It really gives us a way to interact with our environment using the pointer in a very simple way using Playmaker. You know, we don't need to use any VRTK actions here at all. And you know, it, it can apply to any FSM in your scene, like really simple. It's a very easy way to use it. Um, if you want to disable it, there is a very simple um, checkbox here, you know, you can just disable click events and it, it won't work. It will still uh, hover, I believe, but it won't click. So there you go. A simple way to send pointer events to objects in Playmaker. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, as well as you can join us on our Playmaker unofficial Slack chat channel, which of course has lots of VR users as well. And the link for that will be below.